my shirt in because I'm over it. You need to pull your you need to pull your pants up to your like under your boots. I did, and they just keep rolling down. There's like a lot to hold in right here. I I love like the high like the higher the better you know. Yes, I'm like, like can they come to here? Thank you. <laughs> but they don't. morning welcome back to my channel if you have been here before if you're new my name is Shelby and I am not usually this much of a tomato but I just finished my workout session with my trainer Jenny over FaceTime and I am very very gross I need to take a shower today's video is going to be a day in the life of a day for me as a working full-time at home mom um, to a military husband who's currently working basically night shift from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So we're pretty much on our own here. Danny is sleeping. He just got home a couple hours ago, so he's trying to catch up on some rest so we can hang out with Charlie for a couple hours before he leaves for work and she goes to bed. I clearly need to take a shower, so I will see you after that. Every morning I start the day by either sweeping or vacuuming the floor. Our cats really only use their litter boxes at night, but that means that there's cat litter all over the floor in the mornings, and I hate that feeling of having it stuck to my feet, so I always get rid of it first thing. Did you take out all of your toys? Every single one? In all of your books while Mama was showering? Yeah? You're over it? Okay, one second. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get Go charge your phone. Bye. Who told you you can get up on the couch by yourself, you big girl? So silly. Are you happier now? Okay, good talk. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die. 
So on this new meal plan that I have been on now for about two weeks, it's really focusing on making sure that you take in enough protein every meal. And since I had just worked out with Jenny that morning, I was crazy hungry. So I made a double portion of protein, two scrambled eggs and three turkey sausage links. I paired that with some coffee and then a little bit of apple for fun. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Hello. So my camera battery died as soon as I finished making breakfast. So you didn't miss much. I just ate breakfast. Charlie played for a little while, had a snack, then she went down for a nap and I got some more work done. I was working at the kitchen counter while she was playing. So, you know, super exciting times around here. <laughs> she just woke up from her nap. And she's practicing all of her words up in her crib. So I'm gonna go get her and get her situated. So hopefully she'll play and hang out for a couple hours. Danny is still asleep. I am expecting him to sleep till like four or five today. This is his second day working this shift, but he's been like trying to switch his sleep schedule since Monday. So he's like exhausted. So I expect he'll probably sleep till four or five, which is like kind of a bummer because I work till six. So like not having any help pretty much all day is uh, not ideal. But what are you gonna do? Guy needs his sleep and he has to go back to work tonight, so we're just gonna do our best. I'm very ready for the weekend. I need the work phone to go away for a couple of days. All right, I should go get Charlie before he starts yelling at me. Ba ba ba. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's get up. Okay, bye. Lunch for Charlie today is a whatever I have left in my fridge type of a day. We have mac and cheese, the Annie's organic, and then blueberries and blackberries. One of these days she'll find that on her table and go eat it. But right now she's too busy being busy. And eating the crunchy she left on the floor from this morning, huh? What do you have? Is that your ball ball? So diet update, it's Friday right now. And I haven't lost any more weight since my check-in on Saturday, which is fine. I honestly didn't really expect to. I kind of figured that first week was like one of those, you know, when you start a new diet and all of the extra water weight and whatever just kind of flushes out. But I'm happy I'm not gaining weight and I'm happy that I'm maintaining. And then I worked out three times this week with Jenny. So I'm feeling very sore, but stronger. So I think probably between eating better and then building more muscle, that's probably why like the scale's not changing which is fine, it doesn't really bug me. The only thing that I'm like, whatever about on this diet is that I'm cooking so much more than I used to. And like, I already cooked a lot because there are no takeout options where I live. There's like fast food in one restaurant and like, I'm kind of over it. But before I could like reasonably make like a quesadilla or heat up something from the freezer like really fast and not have to worry about it. Whereas now I have to make sure that I have a protein and a vegetable and like a healthy carb. It's not like brain surgery, but it's just a lot of dishes. I say that because it's lunchtime right now. I just made Charlie's meal. That's another thing is that I'm eating differently than Danny and Charlie are. So I'm making three different meals Looks like someone just figured out the light switches. <laughs> yeah, that's a lost cause now. That light's always going to be off because she can't reach it to turn it back on, but she sure can turn it off. So even better lighting, how exciting. 
Anyways, as I was saying, I'm making like three different meals two to three times a day. So it's just a lot of cooking and a lot of kitchen time that like I don't necessarily mind. It's just like a lot. So I'm gonna make some lunch for myself real quick before I have to switch over to phones at work. I'm thinking sauteed zucchini, probably some more jerky sausage because I don't have any other protein defrosted and I don't want scrambled eggs. Like she found the other one. <laughs> Will you turn it back on? Thank you. I don't want scrambled eggs again for my protein source, so I'm gonna make that real quick. I think I'm gonna also cut up and peel some sweet potatoes to make like baked sweet potato fries because those have been my favorite thing ever. And that Primal Kitchen ketchup <laughs> that I got in my grocery haul that I posted it about a few days ago. It's actually really good. I was skeptical because it was like unsweetened organic ketchup. And usually that tastes like tomato paste. It's actually really good. So totally worth the switch. Spendy, but condiments versus no condiments. What happened? Good morning. Good morning. Someone woke up. And someone else is being destructive. Yeah? That's what I thought too. So your verdict on this new shift is not a fan. It makes everything difficult. Yeah. And also, like, hey, today's Friday. I work Friday night. It means I sleep Saturday morning. So the weekend with you guys. It's like a day. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sleep as late because I don't have to go to work the next night. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it just makes things a little more difficult. Yeah. But then again, on days off, you know, I can stay up. I can, I'll be here all day when she's there. I'll, I'll stay up until like four in the morning. That means I wake up at, you know, eight o'clock when she does. Yeah. So the day's off runs bad. Outside of the fact that I have nothing to do. All night long. days off. Yeah. But it does give me motivation for the gym too. That's true. my days off, I mean, going to the gym at nights when no one's there. Yeah. Just wait for this to stop being new sort of the gym. <laughs> oh no. What is happening over there? You're going to get the raspberry. <laughs> I'm just now making lunch at four o'clock. I'm just gonna make double so I can have lunch and then in a few hours have dinner. Making sweet potato fries to bake in the oven. And then sauteing some squash and zucchini with some seasonings. And then I'm going to cook up some turkey sausage here in a minute. Charlie, hey, where's the hoop? You okay? Put up for a member. You're on member. 
your butt. So we just got Charlie down to bed, did the whole bath time, bedtime routines as she's in bed, hopefully asleep. I don't hear any grumping, so fingers crossed. It's like 8.15. She went to bed a little later than usual, but whatever. I am so tired. <laughs> like, it's definitely Friday night after a long week of work, and I'm just like, do I have a cup of coffee? Because I have at least two or three hours of things to go do, or do I say F it? <laughs> just go to bed. I'll probably get the coffee because uh, I don't want to wake up in this house tomorrow. I'm going to make Danny a quick dinner, just those chicken strips that I mentioned in the Costco haul that I posted, and then it'll be time to deal with uh, all this. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel it's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car, nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. All right, kitchen is clean, dishes are done, floors are clean, bedroom is semi-assembled. Next is this and this. Danny kind of went through here earlier and pulled all of her books out and all of her toys. We were talking earlier and I think what we're going to do is kind of do the Montessori rotation theory where, you know, you put five or six different toys in there at a time and like have plenty of space to play and be creative versus having like all of her toys in there because what's happening is she's just taking every book off her shelf, every toy out of the box and just throwing it all over. It becomes a giant mess to clean up like three or four times a day. And then she gets frustrated because she's stepping on her toys and she can't find what she wants and you know, the whole deal. So I'm gonna go through and figure out what I'm gonna put in there. And I guess we'll see how it goes over these next couple days. I'm really hoping that it goes well because she's getting so spicy with me during the day because I know she's like bored out of her mind and I feel bad because I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard spot because I can't like go outside and play with her when I'm supposed to be on the phone at work. So I'm like just trying to do the best I can in both aspects and I don't want her to be bored and spicy but I also need to be like available for my job. So hopefully this will be a good change for her and she will enjoy her new play space. So let's get to it. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. So this is what we settled on. We have some blocks, her favorite stuffies. She loves to make the music play on that little wiry beat thing. She's got a few books, her handy dandy notebook from Blue's Clues, and some coloring stuff. And then if she wants these two things, I can get them down for her. And then I have this little sorting box with some kind of wooden like river rock shaped things, a couple different weighted balls and a few other little tactile things. And then over here she has her shapes and her letters and her little kitchen stuff. But this corner used to be completely full. There were things next to the ball pit. That whole corner was full of toys. So this is definitely a pared down version. 
I'll be curious to see how she reacts to it tomorrow. This is all the stuff I pulled out. All the books, coloring books, toys, stuffies, rings, little popper thing, you know, all the crap. Have a good night, Bubba. Eat the rabbit. What you doing? I put you on my mic box because I'm tired of holding the camera and my arms are sore because I worked out with Jenny this morning and those power clean to like push press things, ow. Those are obviously like a great full body workout moment but they make me sore. So yeah, I don't really love this shift. I really hope that he gets to switch to a different one next schedule rotation because I don't love it. I don't like him being gone all night. I don't love that he comes home at like seven, eight, nine, ten in the morning and then sleeps all day and then leaves again. It just feels like very unbalanced because like on one hand, I'm doing the work toddler rotation with the house stuff on top and then he's doing the work sleep rotation, which is totally an opposite schedule. And it's throwing him off and he's totally exhausted. So even when he is awake, he's like, Ugh, you know. So I'm trying to be compassionate and be like, you know, it's fine, I got it. I'm on a more regular sleep schedule. I'll just kind of like push through while we're on this schedule with him. But at the end of the week, I'm tired. And this is only the first week of this. <laughs> And I have a couple more to go, I think. But in very exciting, spontaneous news, I am going to go to California to visit my mom and my friends, my like two friends there. <laughs> it was kind of a spur of the moment decision. I was gonna go like the last week of February and then stay a week, like the first week in March. And then Audrey was gonna drive back with me. Audrey's my coworker slash bestie. I'm so excited to go back again. I'm trying to go back like once every few months just because I know that's better for me. And then I'm also excited to get my hair done again and not wait another year and a half because my gray hairs are like three inches long and it's not cute. I'm excited. I think we're gonna drive, I'm gonna drive out on Friday of next week. So I'll try and do a, a travel vlog for you guys. It's gonna be me and my mom uh, driving around with Charlie in the back, so I don't know. I'm excited to do something different, even if it's just in like our little car pod with me and my mom, like, fine, sounds great. Now it's time for me to edit this because <laughs> I was going to post a husband does my makeup challenge today, Friday, and Daddy and I tried to film that last night and it went off the rails so fast. So we're gonna try that again. So keep your eyes out for that because that's gonna be funny. But anyway, I'm still talking surprise i'm gonna go ahead and sign off edit this post this and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for being here and keeping me company when i'm home alone love ya see you next time bye Try not to hold me down feel alive.